Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about interior lighting on the P3 generation Volvos. Now, this is something that a lot of you probably take for granted, but Volvo actually spent a lot of time working out how different lighting in the car can sort of change how the car interacts with people. And they've, they've spent a lot of time sort of creating a car that gives you a nice, comfortable environment um, and that works ergonomically, both mentally and physically. Um, best with the human body so um i've waited till it's got dark so i can sort of show you this straight away um, in the best sort of way um now i've mentioned this in previous videos but this car has sort of a random assortment of different lighting we've got hints of led at the rear but then we've got halogen beams at the front we've got um a mixture of leds here halogen lights when it comes to the interior lights. And a lot of you probably thought that this is perhaps due to cost saving measures or the era that the car was built in. Um, but I did a bit of research and actually what it is, is to do with the way that Volvo wanted the interior to interact with the driver. Now, as you'll notice here, these buttons here are very different um, to the color here. And there's a definite, well, there, there is there's a scientific reason behind this. So if we highlight the uh, instrument cluster first, you'll notice that it's white LED, proving to us that there was the, um, obviously the technology and the, the, the forethought available to use LEDs on the interior. Now Volvo have used um, white LEDs here because they need to make it as easy for you to see as possible. You've got the contrast um, on the the, the sort of TFT screens there um, and then the the entire sort of gauges are lit all the way around uh, with white light because that is the easiest light to see um, what's this the light that the brain processes the quickest now when you move on to like the uh, steering wheel you'll notice that we've got a lot of green lighting um, and this is a theme throughout all of the buttons um, if we go down here this is all green here. Um, the drive, neutral, reverse, park, and the uh, up and down shifting labels. Then we've also got on these steering wheel controls here, they are actually all the same color in real life. I just see the camera is changing it slightly. And then we've also got the mirror and the uh, window switches down here. So everything that your hands interact with is done in green now this is purely because you need to be able to see them but the green doesn't take your attention away from the, what's ahead on the road so again it's, it's volvo's clever scientific psychology really um that the green is sort of a less invasive color than that white led and in a lot of modern cars nowadays you can change all of the um ambient lighting and everything like that and the volvos they have quite a limited selection and that's again because they design it what was proven to be the best sort of lights for the job you'll notice here the hazard warning symbol is in red um so that you know that's exactly what it is and you'll notice that it's the only red control in the car apart from a little bit of red um down here on the um temperature control so yeah it's it's very clever in the way that they've done it and the amount of effort that they've put in to try and find all of get the best results is is pretty impressive to be honest um going back to the white lights in terms of important things you'll notice that you've got white led lighting in the door handles here um which unfortunately on the driver's side i can't show you because mine's gone out <laughs> it's completely uh completely dark but um yeah really really interesting now I I spoke to a Volvo designer online about why they chose to use halogen lighting on the interior. And what I mean by that is these lights here. Uh, you'll notice that they're all a very warm red color, um, or orange really. And it's the same for the rear as well. And there was a very, very sort of simple um, and obvious answer really. And that is that when you when you unlock the car obviously these lights come on and warm colors um sort of cause trigger a feeling of comfort um in the human brain uh, that's why we all like sort of we associate warmth with um fire the color of fire red um, everything like that it's yeah it's basically it 
triggers that comfort response in the brain that this is going to be a nice place to be and that's what volvo wanted to start obviously when you come to the uh, things here it makes you look the best as well in this light but um yeah just a really really interesting concept that i think a lot of people don't realize was actually a thing um now quite a few people have changed these to leds and go for it um i have been tempted myself to sort of bring it up to the modern era however i have since since sort of finding this information out i have realized how sort of the effect that the the warm lighting has on the car um actually obviously you see the important information here again in red um, i know it was the only one that has a light but you've also got the fasten belt single signal and the airbag signal um as well so yeah who would have thought that lighting inside a vehicle would make such a difference and the science that goes into it is pretty staggering when you just start looking into it um but uh yeah um just a little extra bit of information as well um volvo went for halogen and xenon beams rather than leds because they believe that a lot of the the led options are quite harsh on your eyes um whereas and stripped a lot of the detail out what you were seeing whereas the halogen and xenons were slightly softer with the colors um and yeah it's just another little interesting point of how light interacts with the human body and everything like that so um yeah let me know your thoughts let me know if you had ever th wondered why there's sort of a, a plethora of different lighting because you've got white green red uh white again um whereas a lot of cars will have like if you set the it all to red it'll all go red and things like that yeah just uh, just an interesting concept so let me know down below if um you guys ever sort of consider that and let us know also what if you've if you've changed your bulbs why did you do that was it to make it more modern or perhaps to um improve uh the look or or what um but uh yeah thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video cheers